Hello and welcome to the Board Game Nights of the Round Table tour until we get a budget or tables or a rectangle. I'm Chris. I'm Olivia. And we continue spooked over with Carcassonne. The Mist Over Carcassonne. <laughs> While you're getting the stack set up. This plays, uh, for those who haven't, who don't know, this plays very similar to Carcassonne, except it is a cooperative version. Uh, there's no farmers, and as you can see, there's these little fog banks um, that have ghosts on them. So that tells us how much ghost we set in the fog bank. So the thing that, uh, there, there's a couple of losing conditions. First of all, um, we are playing the number two game since we haven't beaten that on camera yet. Um, and that tells us that we have 15 ghosts, we have to get to 75 points, and we have the castles and the cemeteries in this one. Okay, so the fog banks uh, work is where if you go to place a fog bank, you have to place a ghost. If you connect it to a pre-existing fog bank, then you minus one ghost from the total. If you ever complete it, in other words, to where you have a natural cap, um, not, not um, we have a natural cap, then all the ghosts that are on that fog bank are removed. Okay, so the thing is, um, you can place, like I could put a, just like a grass piece right here, but then that would make that fog bank uncompletable. So we want to be careful with that. Uh, the castles, um, the way they work is every tile that's adjacent to the castle, uh, you, once you, you score once you get all uh, eight tiles, all eight tiles around the castle filled, um, all eight spaces. And then every tile that's around there that has a fog bank is worth two points, including the castle itself. Um, and the cemeteries are when you go to place a ghost, you must place a ghost on the cemetery as well. Now, if you have like a fog bank that just has one ghost and you connect that to another fog bank, that means you don't place any ghosts, so you don't have to place any ghosts on the cemetery. And I, uh, yeah. So a couple of strategies we have found out is don't place anything here or here until, or even here, until you, uh, until you kind of know what these tiles have. So, well, here's not as big deal, but here and here specifically, because these roads go into the fog make those really annoying to complete. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, am I forgetting anything? Mm -mm. Not, not that I okay. know of. If, if something comes up while we're playing, we'll just explain it to you, but I think we're kind of ready to go. I okay. wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. Okay, who do you want? Okay, uh, just just so you guys know, I am playing the Christmas colors. Um, so uh, I am the red and green, and you are black and blue. Yep. Okay. Literally. So no, see. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of uh, a couple of things we've also found out is do not place your last meeple because sometimes you're going to want to. Okay, when you score, instead of scoring, you can choose to remove three ghosts. Now, sometimes you can do a place a tile that'll let you quickly score, where you'd place a meeple and then immediately remove it because you scored it. That's why you want to have that last meeple. Um, you also want to have four ghosts reserved in the pool. If you have less than four ghosts, you need to get ghosts out immediately. I would say that. Three, three so, to four. Well, the yeah. reason why I say four is because some of these tiles have three ghosts on them. Well, you were and saying three, so I said oh, three four. to four. I, I meant four. If I said so. three, I'm sorry. Four ghosts. You want four ghosts reserved at all times. Yeah, because... so. Because uh, we've got burned a lot of times. Yeah, because you'll get that tile that has the three ghosts in the fog bank. Um, okay, so do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? Um, no, here, this is the way. I'll take a color, and then whichever color you pick, and actually, I don't even know which one's which. You, um, okay, so I'll go first. Jade. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. I guess we'll just pull from this side. You ruined my tower. Okay. This is actually a really great thing right here. So, because then we place one ghost because I'm connecting this fog bank to an already existing fog bank. You minus one. I'm going to put my guy here. Now, one of the keys to winning this game is to get two features at least that you can double the points up on. So these castles technically aren't connected yet. This is where the cooperative stuff comes in. So if we can double the points on this castle, that'll get us away. We have to get 75 points to win, which is why this is black and white. Once we pass the go for the first time, I'll flip that over. Okay. So I got a horrible one. I can Ooh. either set it here or I can just end one. You could do that. Like this? Yeah. You could take... Now, now the thing about removing the free ghosts is they have to come off the same tile. Um, so, so I wonder, I guess, maybe so right I'm now we just take the four points. Back off again. Yeah, so but we do have to place points. the two ghosts. But now this is going to be an annoying tile to finish. Unfortunately. But here, we'll just lay these guys down for the... Um, there's no farmer in this game, so we're just going to lay our guys down just so the overhead camera picks them up pretty well. So we have four points. We're already on the board. Okay, here's a castle cap. If this were you, I would say put that there, but it's not, so I'm wondering. If it were me. Oh, yeah, so I could. Do Maybe it. we'll just take four more points and this hey, will give I'll us. Take, we'll take it. Yeah, so I would have put my guy there. Now, the way it works is you place the tile, you spawn the ghost, and then you score. So that's why it's important to have four ghosts in the bank because uh, if at any time. Yeah. Yeah, you need a score to remove the ghost. Yeah. So. Oh, hey, that's this actually isn't bad. It's so close to being perfect for here. We could put it here. That That's perfect. It doesn't cap it, but. Yep. And so since this has one ghost, we minus one ghost. So that's zero ghost. Hey, you know what? It's it's a good like that's a good thing. Now, you don't want to have too many open fog banks, but you do want to have open fog. <laughs> it's like so close to being perfect. I guess we never get that at the beginning. Yeah, that'll oh, work. Or he, yeah. Yeah, that would work too. It's gonna make that hard though. I say there because then you can connect it. Well, it makes both things hard. I'm actually wondering if I should just set this on its own because it's gonna make both of these annoying. Oh, I forgot about that thing right there. So, okay. I mean, that was the only move we had at the time, but it's like. It would have been better to get this one earlier. <laughs> yeah, that one always comes up at the wrong time. I feel yeah. like. Well, this is early enough in the game. Let's just go ahead and put it here and take the two ghost. Okay. And that gives us another fog bank to work off of. So we have we have six fog, we have six ghosts left. So we need to start. <laughs> and you could flip it around and put it this way. Try to like hold that to the camera too. Oh, I'm sorry. That way people at home can kind of play along with us. You could put it up here and then put your guy in that castle too, but that's probably the best bet. We could have potentially a nice long road going here too, like, you know. Potentially. Don't, don't sleep on the roads. Okay, so see, this is what we'd be worried about. If I put it here, this makes this one really, really hard mm. to complete. So you guys need to be thinking about that. And see, we can't put it there because of the road. So probably the best yeah, choice. Put it there. Yeah, I'll put it here, which means we place two ghosts. Oh, I was thinking like this. That's fine. I was thinking about maybe building a pond, like a uh, cool thing on that one. But you know what I'll do? I'll put a guy here because then maybe we can combine those castles. But we really need to try to like get this fog man. Yeah. Or score and get some ghost off the board. Um. Oh, oh nope, nope. It's not a road. It's so close to being perfect. And you could put it just here, I guess. And. Yeah, but I'll make it really hard because it'd have to be a road and You're right. everything. So it's two ghosts. But we, we might as well just try to. That's fine, put but this we together. need to I try. I don't know where, where are ghosts We got at? two ghosts left. Oh, okay. so we've got to get some ghosts. To, and hey, look at that. That's the absolutely worst piece. So you lose when you need to place a ghost and you can't. And unfortunately, I don't know. Ah. <sighs> 
You can place it here and it'll be two ghosts. Yeah, that's the only thing. But man, we've got to. So I, but we're not. I can't score. Yeah, I know. I can't do any quick scoring. So. I think we're done. <clears throat> oh wait. Is it one ghost? No, it's no, two ghosts. It's two. And there's no. And there's no quick scoring to put. I mean. Yeah, you'd have to place the ghost. <laughs> well, hey, I'm going to cut this out. Hey, guys, we lost our first game, so... Actually, we could just say, hey, guys, we lost our first game. We got overwhelmed. We're going to reshuffle and play, because <laughs> this is how brutal this game is. Well, hold on, we need to put the... You want to just totally reshuffle everything again? And you can go first this time. Okay. You go from mad because I wasn't a gentleman, you know? Right? Okay, so yeah. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> we got our, uh, our our we got our, our tails handed to us. So I'll probably be repeating some of the advice because I can't remember what advice I gave during the game. But um, yeah, we just got destroyed pretty quickly there. It was less than ten minutes we lost. So we're gonna just restart this here, just to kind of show you the experience of this game. It's um, it's brutal, and I, I'm debating on how I feel about that. If I Sometimes I hate it, but I think it's nice when you win. So I'm yeah, like, I'm, I don't know. I think that's also the appeal of like the, the Dark Souls games, video games. But this is a, the Dark Souls of board games. But anyway, okay. So I went first last time. We did that randomly, but we're gonna let Olivia go first this time. Ladies. Mm. you can do nothing we can do okay this is another perfect piece for something else um does that connect oh wow good play <laughs> i mean it's the only thing i can do unfortunately i'd love to score i got one ghost left and i don't think like what can you it do it's two ghosts yeah i don't think there's anywhere to close off so Right here. Oh, it doesn't close it though. Yeah, like if it wasn't for the cemetery, we'd be fine. And there's nothing to really score off so it's of. So two ghosts. Well, okay, time out. Do we have two ghosts you, left? No, we never mind. Never mind. We don't have two ghosts left. We just have the one because. Yeah. So All right. Well, done. let's see. We're gonna reset Good the cameras. Guide. This will be like no. I'm just gonna cut and say game two failed. Like and I'm just gonna show how we failed. Okay. Well. <laughs> We got our uh, tails handed to us again. Well, we had some cool combinations going on there. Okay, pick a number between one and ten. Oh, for the tiebreaker? Mm-hmm. Or do you want to do the little me meeple mix-up thing? I already have the number in my head. Uh, seven. That's two. Okay, well, how, what does that do? I win. You were farther away. Okay, go first. I don't care. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> just, just go first. It's fine. Okay. Mm. No. Put it here if you're gonna put it anywhere.
but we have one ghost left to burn. Oh. I'm going to keep this open. I'm not going to put a guy there because I... Why? And yeah, that's it for us. Hold on. No, it's it because we could only had to place one ghost. <sighs> well, guys, you just saw us get our our tails handed to us three different times. Um, this and and see, this is a, this this could be a fun game. Um, I think it's just too focused on the mist, honestly, well, and you can't. The problem is like I, I need to count this out, but it's like. I feel like there are too many things that have like multiple ghosts, yeah. and especially with the cemetery role. I think if the yeah. cemeteries weren't in there, I don't know how big of a problem this would be. But there's like, well, I mean, you can see we're already kind of like, we have how many caps are there? I mean, comment below if you think we're doing something wrong, but it's, it's really, um, Okay, so there are more caps than I was assuming, but it feels like. Okay. Why do we not get any caps out there then? Like you can see. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. I think it's this. It throws you off so much. I wonder if we played without it. Maybe we play, I don't know. It's like, also what happened to the cemeteries? Oh, here they are. I might've mixed these up. Okay. I might've, I'm sorry. Well, you see there's like, actually this, this kind of shows you a point though. Like these are all ghosts. There's like no reprieve from the ghost. If you factor this in, these yeah, are cemeteries, like... which all add like add the possibility of drawing extra ghosts. The cemeteries really hurt you, in my opinion. How many is there in here? Twelve tiles that don't have ghosts. Yeah. Um, let me see how many tiles are. And then if not counting the cemeteries. Do you have the ones mixed in there? No. There's four that just has one. Well, it, that are not it. capped. These are caps specifically. We we wanted to put the caps because I was curious because it feels like we never get caps. Like how are we supposed to like it, there are more caps than there are any of the others. But um oh, let's, let's see how many tiles there were total. Oh, you know what? I know how to tell. So there are 60 land tiles total, and only 12 of those tiles are ghost tree. Okay, let's play one more time. Let's super aggressively just worry about controlling fog banks, okay? Almost a third of them have one ghost on them. That's fine. I... A third of the caps or a third of the total tiles? A third of the total tiles. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight, nine, 18 10, 11, of the 12. one, 18 of the two, 12 of those, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How come it seems like I feel like we're drawing a bunch of threes all the time? Yeah, it does. Oh, and the thing is, there's also like more. If you did you are, did you throw the caps? Did you organize all the caps as well into the number of ghosts just to see what they had? Oh, they only have like one. Do the caps all have one? One and two. They don't one have two. threes. How many twos did you count again? I'm sorry that. Um, eighteen, and 18. I counted one. The one ghost were eighteen, and then supposedly there's only it, it seven. It felt like we were just getting bombarded. With I the think it's ghosts. because. The cemetery. The cemetery, it takes three. The cemetery yeah. is what kills you. Yeah. Let's, uh, 
aggressively just do ghost management and see if we have any better luck. And then after that, because like... I think that's what we did last time. That's when we finally succeeded is when we just... Yep. So hypothetically, you should, like, there's only, like, less than, uh, just, like, a slightly over 10% of these are free ghost. So you shouldn't be spawning free ghost a ton. The, the cemeteries make you spawn three ghosts. Yeah, and I think that's really what kills it, because there's so many two ghosts out there. And there's so many cemeteries Which you out would there. Expect How many cemeteries are there? There are, I think, five or six. No, there are five. There are five. I think it is too, but we're going to just do aggressive ghost management. So I get a cap right away, but I can't really use it too much. I know exactly so. where you're going to go. Up there. <laughs> it's really the only thing you can do. You might go here just to put it with the ghost. I could put it there. Do you want me to put it there? Yeah, let's do it there for once. Okay. That'll make it one ghost. Since we're trying to manage yeah. ghosts. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to put it on the road? No, I mean, it's fine because, like, that actually is better. Or you can put it right there and just cap I it can't... right off. Well, like, I can't put it there. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. So sorry. See, I'm going to leave that one open I for a quick score. I was excited for a minute. <laughs> Plus, you went that way, so. All right. Um, I would almost put that up here. That way, oh, my my guy was meant. No, I put him. I meant to put him here. So I would put that one up there. Yeah. So we can start working on that. Okay. Well. Yeah, I really have one choice, which is here. But at least that ends that road one. So the next good cap that comes up, we can put our guy there. You want to um, put your guy on there? In the city? Yeah. Well, I'm wondering if I should take the I road. I might be, oh. be able to get here. I'm wondering if I should take the road and go one, two, three. It's only three points, so I'll just put my guy in the city. Unless you want to get rid of two ghosts. Uh, well, the thing is that has such a good potential right now. Both of these just need clean caps and we're good, so okay. I'm okay with... Um, see, that's perfect for like... Right. Right there. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oops. That just cost us the game. Could cap it off. Then we get our points. Yeah. And that gives us another opportunity there for mm -hmm. quick scoring. So, uh, again, when you guys double up here like we just did, that is what you get per tile, unfortunately, so we don't get to count that one twice. But one, two, three... Four, five, six. So uh, you the castle, the towns counts two per tile, so that would be twelve points. But you double that since we're sharing that, so that's twenty four points. We're like almost a third of the way there. Pretty much in one move. So we'll see how it goes. So that one you could put like right here, and then put your, or you could, yep, that's fine too. That's actually pretty good. Or there. Yeah, I'm just like, I can't put it here. Like, there's no way that works. So I think I'm. Oh, yeah. Just put it. Here. I'll put it here because. Yeah. And for, I, I think that just leaves that. Then way we can more cap open. it. Yeah, well, that's uh, the idea. So, so far, the cemetery hasn't come out. I just, I mean, like, it's, it's going to happen. That's up to you, but. Yeah, actually, that's the only place it could go, now that I'm looking at it. Got a, ooh, a I mean, it could have gone here, but that would have made things difficult. We could put that, no, we can't put it here. So, so we're yeah, putting that we'll here. Cap that off, yep, and so boom, boom, all those ghosts are gone. Bye-bye. And I'm good with not placing anybody. You could put that, like, turn that and put it here. Because it's already a really good start for scoring that castle. And we do get... Okay, you guys see? Not having a cemetery has made this a little mm -hmm, bit easier to manage yeah. the ghost. So, 
Okay. No. I, I'm kind of. I think the cemeteries might actually ruin the game. Like. Yeah, actually, I'm not I have. To be, I'm having fun right now, but once those cemeteries come out, there's just. Maybe next time we play this, if we try to do the higher levels, we remove like three cemeteries because they because because it breaks into three stacks later on. That way, the stacks will still be even. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. Well, I think this is pretty much the. Get three points. Or I could put it. Yeah, I'll we'll take three points. Put my guy there. That'll give us uh, three points. I'm at twenty four, so now we're at twenty seven. So. Yep. No. You could flip it around, honey. If you put it right here, like with it going like a horseshoe. You could put your guy here. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Thanks. Well, we're totally okay with discussing things. That's that's why we're doing it's that. It's cooperative. Could take four points. We are cooperating. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to put it here, or do you want me to put it here and just take four points? I'll take the four points. Okay. So, 31. Okay. I don't blame you, but do whatever you want to do. Ah! The cemetery. You can put it right here and have two of the sides covered already. Do you think that makes it too hard to complete? Because it's like you got to have like a fog bank with a road. I mean, there are plenty of fog bank yeah, with roads. Just go with it. Just go with it. Okay. I'll put a guy here. I connected that to a fog bank. So we got one ghost and then we get a cemetery. Oh, hmm. what have you been? Oh. What have been? Well, it's kind of good to open up another fog bank anyway, so we can place. Um, but unfortunately, both the fog banks have roads. You can put it like right here. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. You could yeah, put it. You could put, put it, it here. Oh. That's fine if you want to put it there. There. Actually, I need it on the castle. Oh, that's that'll make that hard though. I just put it right here then. Should we take two points and get rid of two ghosts? If you want to do that, I mean, yeah, we decided to focus on ghost management, so you want to knock out these yeah. guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you put, you didn't put a ghost in there? Oh, that. yep. There you go. Actually, we're going to put the two ghosts back here. Why? And just take these guys off. Oh, okay. Because this one we're yeah, working on capping, yeah. so. <sighs> so close. But you know what? I could put that here. And then we still have to do this whole stupid thing. You could put that, you could put it here. Or, oh, okay, yeah. Just like that. Sure. Which, hey, we don't have to place a ghost, so that's a good thing. We have, um, we have five ghosts. Um, it's so close to being perfect. <gasps> I think. I guess we'll just do this. It's a road there, isn't there? Oh, no, there's not. No, there's not a road there. So that's zero. Yeah. But again, the caps don't work because they put it on the roads. They never put any caps. Well, there's a couple the roads. of roads with caps. Doesn't um, feel like it. Uh, Still cleaning. You could put that like on one of our quick score castles. Right here. Yeah. And then you have a road. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you do get two ghosts, unfortunately. Yeah. Now, do you want to remove? Yeah, we need to remove ghost. So take the two from the cemetery. Yep. If we can cap that cemetery, we'd be good again, but it costs us a meeple. Okay, this is a cap. 
I guess I'll put it here. It's the only place you can. Yeah. Put my guy here, and then we get rid of this ghost. Yay! Go ahead and draw whichever one you want. Again. Well, you so could put it. Close. You could put it. Oh, no. No, you can't. You might just have to put that on it. How many ghosts do we have left? We have oh, one, two, three. We have six. Yeah. Unfortunately, but you know, I think that's the other thing too. Is we have to try to keep a couple of cement like things open. Okay, we've got a cap, castle wall, but we might have actually messed ourselves over with that one. But I don't know. Like I know. And I'm not blaming you, by the way. I'm just. Okay, might as well. Well, you can't put it there because there's no roads going through, and that'll mess yeah, that up. I was thinking up. something like this, but then like then we um we're down to zero ghost. If I put it up here, at least we have one more ghost to burn. I agree with that. See, this is where it comes down to, and I think it's the cemeteries again. That's just constant. Like, and if it, I don't know, we'll see. Hold on, let me go reset the camera and then. Okay, we've got one ghost left. And this is so the open, we're gonna lose. Truth. I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose. Yep. There's nothing you can do with that. Okay, we had one, two, three, four caps, five caps. We tried capping the fog banks. It's just like, how do you do that? We, we tried to be aggressive with doing the fog banks. It's it's because there's some with roads and mist on it, and then let's they see. don't match up with other what ones. What would we have needed to capture get that one? That might have been on us, but let's see. We would have needed this one. Nope, couldn't have done that one. Couldn't Here's done this that. one. Couldn't have done that, that one either. Worked. Nope, if it was the other way, it'd work fine for that, but... There's that one. Nope. This one, nope. That one, nope. That one even worked for over there. There's nothing here. Nope. Okay, so I guess, not this, like, okay. Nope, that one even have worked for that. It wouldn't have worked for that. Okay, so I guess, um, it's very luck based that you okay. can win this game. How would we? Oh, that would have solved that. But so okay, it's so a one tile. Piece. Yeah, but then I don't think we would have had anything that. Nope. Yeah, it's all it's luck based. There's little yeah. strategy in this and more luck. I think. Oh, okay. So this would have solved that one. But that's one piece. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Like, I, I don't. I, I. There's just something about this math that seems off. It shouldn't be like this all the time. Yes, we're getting some. We're getting some raunchy games for Halloween. For Halloween. It's okay. We I think complained next about week the is other gonna... one. Now we're complaining about this one. We're gonna play Last Night on Earth, though. I mean, really, for a year, there's been like two duds. That's true. That's and really good, honestly. We don't always know if the game's gonna be good or not. Sometimes it's our first time playing yeah. it. Yeah. So. But I will definitely say this is more luck-based, less strategy, and I like a little more strategy in my games and less luck-based. I mean, it's fun sometimes to have luck-based, but I like that more in, like, party games. Maybe we just suck at Carcassonne. That too. I don't know. So I think ultimately our conclusion is on this one um, is that, unfortunately, I, we just don't love this game. We wanted to. It was like a cooperative yeah, Carcassonne. I love Carcassonne, but... This one particularly, I won't have a problem if oh, we sell it. Did we reset the camera? We did, yeah, yeah. So you won't have a problem if we sell it? No, I'm not in love with it like I am the regular Carcassonne. Like, I have the big box Carcassonne. Mm -hmm. I love Carcassonne, but I, don't I even do think not love the mist. There's rules for adding these to the base game, and I don't even think I want to do that because it's kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. I think we've done this to level two we've done this like 10 times 10 times we won once yeah 
And we got like super, super lucky. Like every tile was just laying. So there's like a 10% chance out of a hundred that yeah. you're gonna win. I, I'm trying to think how I would how I would balance this game. I think the tiles just needed some more work. I think they just tried to And this tile is just a like this is yeah. having two roads, like two miscovered roads coming right off, and then like the yeah. way they have it set up next to it, it's just a pain. It is a pain. So but. we even got lucky and closed those roads early and we still lost. Yeah, I think it was a rushed practice zone game, honestly. Probably. Not a lot of thought put into it. They're like, oh, let's just do it this way. Well, <clears throat> so I guess if you're looking for the, oh, you know what we're going to have to do now? There's that Dorf Romantic cooperative game. It's a tile laying game, but it's cooperative. Okay. And we're going to play that. And you're, you don't, there's no lose conditions. It's, you just have to meet the score by the time you're done. Oh. So we'll tell you, we'll play that version. We'll play Dwarf Romantic next year. Uh, just because with Christmas coming up, we're not going to have a lot of time for filming, so it's going to be a bunch of smaller games. But we will be we'll, we'll play that next year, and we will give you guys our thoughts on Dwarf Romantic. Don't worry, there's still going to be games coming your way during Christmas. Yeah, it'll it'll be once a week like it has been. Yes. We've been um, but this will be the um, it'll be lighter, like fa yeah. family games. Um, yeah. There will be a couple of heavies thrown in there um, yeah. between you and me and, yeah. and Chase. But like with the group, it'll just be several party yeah. games. Yeah. But you, you'll see that in November. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, sorry that we uh, can't give this game love, but it's just uh, there, it, there's just something about it. It's I think the difficulty spike is just too much for us. Like maybe if you lose one in like if you win one in ten games on the last level, that might be a little bit more acceptable. But this is level two. Like yeah. we shouldn't be losing this badly at level two. I'm wondering if the extra stuff in level three. That makes it harder. It makes it even harder? Because you have to have, it's like you divide the stack into three even stacks. And then you have to have like 15 points by the time the first stack is empty, 50 points by the time the second stack, stack is empty, and then have 100 uh, points by the end of the game. But so they it's have like, the hounds. What did the hounds do? The hounds you use to mark where you, you have to be by a certain time. Oh, so that doesn't even do anything. It, yeah, the hounds don't give you any benefit. Okay, never mind. And then I'm like, then this one you have... 13 ghost and you have to get 20 60 and 120 points and then um i'm not sure what the exclamation point for the cemeteries mean but um i i, I think i'm done with this game so i'm not even gonna really look into it guys um but anyway thank you for watching uh till next time <laughs> we're defeated austin cooperative games it's uh you know what I don't even want to get revenge on this game. I don't think it's worth it. So it's like I mean, no, not to me. It's it's really not worth <laughs> it. Um, I've played it a bunch just because I had, I get so challenged. I want to beat something, and then we finally beat it last night. I think it was. Was it last it was, night? It wasn't oh. last night. It was the last week. It but. was like last week. So we finally beat it, and then I was looking forward to playing it tonight because I was like, oh, we have a chance. And then we played it three times. Four. Four times and didn't win any of them so yeah i think i'm kind of done <laughs> <laughs> yep it's just one of those things and, and you know what somebody I... might come on and say just we just really suck at this game oh fair enough yeah like that, that's we're always willing to admit we suck yeah. <laughs> like they we are not brilliant strategists no, so we just uh, like to have fun <laughs> but that being said like i i think we are competent gamers so if we're getting this hardly rocked at level two I think there's a problem with the game more than with us. And leave your comments if you disagree. Because <laughs> apparently the Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid is considered a hard game to beat. And we win like 90% of the time. Heroes of the Grid. Power Rangers Heroes oh, of the yeah. Grid. Oh yeah, we've won twice. Well, we've filmed it twice and won, but you, we, I've played that game. A couple times. I've played the game a lot. When I first got it, I was playing it every time, like every Were chance you? I could. Yeah. Who did you play with? I've played with you. I've played with Steven. I've played okay. with uh, Chase. Okay. And we would just dominate it. So it's like, yeah, you'd lose every once in a while. But, yeah. But I mean, it's, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, it is a fun game. I have enjoyed playing that. So. Well, I'm just, we weren't talking about that. I'm just. Carcassonne's a fun game, yeah. which is why I wanted to love this one, but uh, we'll give you guys... We'll bring you Carcassonne. <laughs> yeah, we'll do Carcassonne, uh, and we'll also have to do Dwarf Romantic, so, since you love Carcassonne. It's, it's a tile-laying game. 
Oh, and yes, yes, you were talking about it. Yeah, Sorry. either hexagon. It's very yeah. similar, but also different from Carcassonne. Okay. But anyway. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take the initiative. And <laughs> out. I need a cape. <laughs> <laughs>